Yo, what's going on? We're back with episode two of Let's Get Funded. I'm so excited to share with you guys the first trade that I took. Did we win? Did we lose? I got no idea. I'm going to show you guys everything. I'm going to show you the trade I took, the position I took, how I broke down the trade, why I took it, and where we took TP, our stop losses, everything. I'm breaking everything down. So keep watching. I'm excited for episode two. You guys are running up my YouTube, man. I just thanked you for 200. Now we're at, And then we hit 300. Now we're at 500 subscribers in like literally in nine days since the beginning of January. Y'all love you guys. Thank you guys so much. Every single one of you that clicked every single one of you that comment like subscribe everything i know i just started my bad but thank you, you guys are running up my youtube uh my last video let's get funded episode one uh, has the most views i ever got on a video so hopefully we can keep that going thank you guys so much remember turn the post notifications on so you see the trades and the breakdowns before session you guys can take it with me deuces Yo, so now that we're on the charts, I'm so happy to be showing you guys a breakdown of the trade. I feel like I haven't broken down a trade that I took in so long because we haven't traded in so long. You know, taking this trade felt so good. You know, regardless of the outcome, I was just excited to be in the trade. If it's been so long, this is what I love to do. So before we break down GJ and break down everything that I took, I'm going to show you guys the account metrics, show you guys the receipts, show you guys some screens. Hopefully, I can get them to pull up as a screenshot. But to start off, boom, first trade, 1.6K made on a 3.6 lot um yesterday last night during london session we had n barely any drawdown or i guess a little bit i don't know why it says negative 207 we didn't lose as you see right here but um so yeah like this is here a lot of you guys know uh, from the FTMO interview that I had that I usually always uh, try to aim for two to ones, three to ones, four to ones. No matter what, I always try for at least two to one risk to reward, right? Meaning I risk 1% to make two, three, four, or five, right? So um, trading on a $100,000 account, 1% of that is 1,000. So I always risk 1,000 to make two, three, four of K, right? In this instant, instance, when price got to my target, um, I wasn't at 2%, but, you know, I wasn't going to let greed, you know, interrupt with my with my trading right it hit my tp that's what it was i might have did the math wrong or something i have no idea it was two times my risk on my screen but we only made out with 1.7 i mean a little bit under uh, 1.7 but this is basically 1.7 almost two percent doesn't matter it doesn't matter you know we were profitable last night we won our trade and i'm gonna be breaking down the long that we took because it was a long um and it just felt good to be in a trade man so here's the receipt here's the first trade that we take we are currently are in progress on a way to profit target of ten thousand. so i'll see you guys on the charts right now so now that i'm looking at gj right you guys know that i always like to start off from the uh top down analysis right i was gonna say start off from the bottom but we start from the top here right so when you see here you know as i explained last week right price on the weekly time frame shows us major resistance to the downside right this orange box that's orange for a reason right so it stands out this orange box shows you know a clear supply and demand area in which we rejected so many times so that was my first you know i you know little confirmation that we were going to go along right we were at an area and we closed back above last week right here we closed back above last week uh high momentum bullish after wicking to the downside to close back above so to me on a weekly time frame i feel as though what we're gonna do and what's gonna happen is we're gonna continue what has happened before every time we rejected here right last time we rejected here we flew um last time i mean the time after that we flew and hopefully right now we can continue to fly right we're going to come back up reject the supply and demand area that was my first confirmation as to how i wanted to go long or why i wanted to go long when you look at the daily time frame right yes when you're looking at market structure we do have a lower low to a lower high to a lower low and then potentially at a lower high right but the important thing is is what we said on the weekly time frame the weekly time frame is rejecting this uh orange area this supply and demand area right so when we traded under we closed right back on top so i wasn't gonna, regardless of market structure i'm not going to go short unless we would have broken the supply and demand area right supply and demand area is a strong form of resistance right very very strong so it makes no sense for me to short if we didn't break that area already, right? If there's a wall there, I'm not going to trade it before it until we've broken through that wall. Once we've broken through the wall, you know, we're analyzing and see where we'll go from there. But I didn't want to go short no matter what. But I did have longs, and that was mostly based on the H4. So when you look at the H4, right, there's a couple things to note, right? So again, 
I had predicted that after this very, very big drop, we were going to correct it, right? The thing is that when we corrected it, which we did, right, we went all the way back up, we now had more structure, right? And we're trading above supply and demand. And then we fell into this range. So after we broke back above, we fell into this little range, right, last week. This is why we didn't take a trade. We fell into this little range, and I had noticed that we had a FIB setup, right? I placed the FIB on the time frame that makes sense. So on the daily time frame I'm gonna post it just like this and when you go to the four hour if you look we had a perfect 0 0.38 rejection right here this line right here is a 0 0.38 let me show you guys right now and make this a little shorter so 0 0.38 and this minor areas point resistance right if you see over here there's a little areas point resistance here that we wicked there's another one over here that we wicked and now we're showing more over here as well as a 0 0.38 rejection area 0 0.38 on the fib is a prz area price reversal zone so we had to hit the 0 0.38 so i did feel like we could go bullish right we're trading above supply and demand i feel like we could go bullish we're riding above the 50 ema right but the thing is, is that we couldn't enter down here, right? This is a nice setup if we had entered down here. But since over the weekend, this was over the weekend, you know, we're not going to take trades over the weekend. This is Friday, right? So I'm going to go ahead to m Sunday night. So going into Sunday night now, right, we are in this little range right here that I'm going to mark off just like this, bouncing on areas, right? But there's a couple things to notice. One is on the lower time frames, we're rejecting this 50 EMA once, twice and three times, right? On top of rejecting the 50 AMA, we're having higher lows being made, right? Boom, another higher low, another higher low on the H1 time frame, right? So I have the FIB area already rejected the 0 0.38 down here. We have higher lows being made on the one hour. We have this, the, the 50 EMA being rejected multiple times. What I'm waiting for now is a break and retest of this area. Again, ideally my entry would be down here, right at the first 50 ema touch supply and demand uh supply and demand area touch i mean support and resistance and price action uh price action signals right this is where we would have but this is friday this is this is friday right here so i didn't want to trade on friday right there was a short week i wasn't gonna start the account on friday so the next best thing to do is take the next trade that you can right the next break and retest towards your way right if you have a setup we have a setup and this was my setup if we broke and retested this area of support and resistance this range we were going to continue to go long right Right? And that's exactly what we got. We got a one hour break and close above and the next hour came down and retested right here. So now this area has to hold. So I'm going to break it down to the 15 minute time frame. As you see, we're holding over here. We're actually held for a little bit, right? If you see on the five minute, we broke above, came down, retested, came up, came up, retested again. So now these were my entries in here. These were my entries right in here, right? One more engulf, right? And I was going to go in right hold it this area is holding look at this candle look at this candle right here look at these wicks to the downside this candle closed and closed right back above our little zone right any big impulse up i was going to take it we have a little bit more wick and boom we're starting to gain momentum just wait just wait just wait that's it that's the answer right now. I got all everything I wanted, right? I got everything I wanted. I got all this rejection. I still seen bullish momentum come up, right? So right here, I placed my long position after this price action signal, placed my stops right under the zone, and we went to this area right here for 68 pips. Two times my risk. I might have did the math wrong because look, two. this is literally my entry. Two times, a little more over two times my risk, and I ended up with fucking 1.7K. Whatever, not going to get greedy. But as you see, price is going to fly and we had no drawdown. We flew 70 pips all the way to the top. It actually flew more to 161.200, which I wanted to hold to, but the emotions were getting to me. I was like, fuck, fuck, fuck. It's the first trade of the week. Should I get in? I mean, should I stay in? Should I, <laughs> should I? Nah, like, you know, I just secured, but it did go for three times my risk to the full TPs. Um, and I had absolutely no drawdown, right? The perfect break and retest. You got to be patient, right? You got to be patient. You know, you could have entered on this impulse up, but I, what I really liked and what I really took the entry based off of is all these rejections to the downside, right? Especially these right here. And that's when we, and when we started gaining momentum, that's when we took the long position and we ended up going long again. If we had taken this trade, if we had taken this trade when we were supposed to down here, if, if we were here last night. If we were here last night, 
that would have been my trade, right? A trade that would have lasted all the way to 161.000. But that was last week. We have to work with what we got this week. I still saw a nice break and retest opportunity if we broke and retested. And they look, if you look on the one hour, we did, right? We broke above. We closed above this support and resistance area. We retested it, and then we went long. 70 pips, no drawdown. Very easy, very quick. I think I took profit in about, I want to say, let's see. I want to say two hours and 30 minutes. So I'm going to show you guys the, the screenshots of my screens right now that I posted on my Instagram. Hopefully I can get them to work. Boom. Boom. And there you go. That's my breakdown of our first trade taken on the challenge. I'm so hyped that we won our first trade of the year. I haven't placed a trade in like three weeks. It felt crazy. It felt insane to see a blue screen. Again, thank you guys so much for running it up. I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. And again, you know, subscribe, like, comment, post notifications on. I'm going to be keep doing this. I'm so excited that episode two. I'm so excited that episode two um, was a success. We won our first trade. The first trade on a new account is always so critical, and I'm happy we won it. Uh, we're going to uh, strive to beat this account um, as safely, cautiously, and as fast as we can and make the series really, really good. All right. So thank you guys for watching. That's my breakdown on GJ. That's how I made 1.7K in about two hours and 30 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys for episode three. Hopefully we win. And hopefully I have, you know, I got the same energy because if I lose, I won't. So <laughs> thank you guys. I'll see you guys next video on Tuesday, tomorrow, or Wednesday. Deuces.